Sportaholics, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome in. If you're not new here, welcome back. And today we are going to be going into the mini controversy palette by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I did get a request in to do a holiday look. I know it has already been past Thanksgiving. If you didn't know, I already announced the winner for the keyboard, um, the piano keyboard, and they have one week to get back to me. I'm also going to be going into, I want to do Vlogmas, but we'll see. It's going to be pretty, pretty hectic at my job, my regular job, and then also here. So I just want you to guys to know that I may be doing Vlogmas and that would be uploaded every day. Um, or I may not do Vlogmas. It just all depends. Let me know in the comments down below if you will be doing Vlogmas or if you want me to do Vlogmas. Um, I would be happy to contribute as well. So my channel is all about affordability and we are not only going to be doing a holiday look, but we're also going to go into the specifics of this palette. My, my goal here is to let you guys in on if this palette is affordable, if it's worth the money, if it's worth the money getting the, you know, the other mini controversy palette that's coming out and whatnot. So let's go ahead and create a look with the mini controversy palette and then we're going to go into our review. Okay, so I already did one side and I'll show you guys how I did this side. So I'm going to go ahead and take cry on my couch and this is basically what I would use as a brow bone um, like to matte or an all over shadow which is really good it doesn't really like um, it's not very very pigmented which is okay because it's good for blending and um, stuff like that but as you can tell like it's not stark white just kind of like a cream color. Next, taking this um, crease brush. This is the crease brush from Wet n Wild. I'm going into, of course, um, Diet Root Beer. As you can see, I use that Diet Root Beer a whole lot because it's really my favorite um, crease shade. I am darker complected, so it's a really good shade for me. So far it's easy to blend, so that's good. It's very pigmented and easy to blend, which is really nice. Next, I'm going to be going into my apologies. Or my apology. And I'm going to start here. And I'm going to follow right underneath where I put the crease. all the way and all the way back and then taking this with no additional I'm just gonna blend it out because we don't want any harsh lines so basically doing a halo effect shower brush like this and going right into my birth my boyfriend's purse all over the middle I'm leaving this open and this one that I use to blend, I'm going to blend the harsh lines there. 
I'm going to run the harsh lines around as well. Take this with no additional and just make sure everything is blended. Okay, next I'm going to take my skinny tip eyeliner, this one right here, by, um, I believe it's Wet Mild. I need to buy me a new one. Lights topper. This is a holographic eye topper, but I'm just going to do it in the inner corners. Now I'm going to go in with Shane. look with the mini controversy palette I used four shades in the palette along with the Shane um, lipstick and honestly it is a little bit tacky but it's not bad and it does happen to make your teeth a little bit yellow but uh, this is the look. So I used this four right here. Surprise, surprise. I did not go with any of the other colors in the palette. Um, to be quite honest, I really wished that um, with this palette, it looks beautiful. So you have your neutrals in the middle which is really good. I really like that. You have pops of color, but I kind of wished that um, like these two blues weren't in the same palette. I kind of wished you would have picked either or and exchange one out for that green shade. Now, if you guys didn't see the finale, they are going to be re- um, doing this palette and and restocking it obviously in 2020 sometime um and they're gonna put the green however they're taking out the blendable shade which is diet root beer out of the palette and putting that green i think that is a definite mistake on their part i really think they should switch out the blues and put in a green instead because you do have two blues here. I know you have a pink and a darker pink um, as well. So you could switch out either or of those. But this is even like a lighter, a it's not white like it shows on camera. This has actually got like an iridescence of a blue. So it still has that blue tinge and they should just do, you know, there's three blues in here. I think what would make a better palette for me would be switching out one of the blues for that green. Now, for this palette itself, it retails for 
I believe $28 is what I paid for it. I, I will definitely, definitely, definitely double check on the website. Um, but this small, small palette is $28. So it is a more affordable price than the big conspiracy palette. Um, you do get fun pops of colors as well as the two blending shades. Like I said, when they're going to be restocking this, you're not going to get that um, diet root beer, which is a shame and it's not um and you're getting that green instead so people that already have this palette may not want that palette i watched yesi gonzalez and she actually is not going to be purchasing the restock of the mini controversy palette because it is just one shade that they changed it's not like the whole palette has changed it's only just for that one color so with that said I don't think I'm going to be getting the um, mini controversy palette um, as well when they restock it unless you guys really want me to review it. Um, now the shadow size on the on the palette is really really good. You get a good size mirror. This is really travel friendly and kind of lightweight. It does have some weight to it but it is a little bit light, lighter weight to travel with. Um, you can do a holiday look with this you can do a new year's look with this um you could do a birthday look with this but i mean for me blues are pretty but they don't really excite me that much but i just wanted to get my hands on an affordable palette conspiracy palette was a little bit out of my budget and also um it was out of stock when i tried to purchase it so with that being said, the packaging is really nice. They thought of every single detail. Um, the outside of this is really cool. It's something that I don't really personally have in my collection. Um, I believe a lot of um, people don't have this type of packaging on any of their, you know, makeup because they just took a different route with it. A lot of influencers have like a girly vibe. Um, they definitely have that glam vibe. Um, and some of them have like that minimalistic vibe. So um, I do have other YouTuber uh, palettes as well that went the more affordable route. And we can dive into those as well. But as far as my holiday palette, uh, holiday look goes, this is what I came up with. If you want to splurge on items like this that are kind of like movie-esque or like one-time limited edition items, then definitely go ahead and splurge. But if you want to save your money and buy something that you'll actually use day in, day out, definitely do that too. I just give um, the Mini Controversy palette a thumbs up and it is affordable in my book. Um... $28 for a travel friendly palette, big pans, pigmentation is there, blendability is there, just some of the shades could have been rearranged better, um, just in my opinion, and that's about it, so I hope you guys like this video, and comment down below if you got the controversy palette, and if you created a look, let me know, and if you want me to review any other um, palettes that you see out there or any holiday collections definitely let me know in the comments down below I would love to know and like always stay affordable